Say, say hello to Charlie boy. So Charlie's looking decidedly scruffy. He's gone for the scruffy look, getting out of bed this morning. Thank you, Charlie. Hey, you good boy. So Charlie's first visit to me today, and he's literally only been out the basket a few minutes. Hey, okay, Papa. And I've just started on his head. He is literally he's matted everywhere, from head to toe. So we, he's having a full lot off. He's an outdoor boy. He loves being out. His dad's just said he's, he's basically like a feral. He just loves to be out all the time. He came from another home where they had him as an indoor cat and all he's ever wanted to do is be out. So uh, he loves being out and about. So hence this coat has gone like it is. That's the only thing. I love a cat being a cat. And being allowed to roam and do cat things and be out and about because I totally agree with that I don't like trapping them indoors I understand why people do it <clears throat> I'm not saying it's right or wrong that's just my opinion but if you've got a cat that does like to be outdoor then you do need to help them with the, gro <laughs> with the grooming because this is what happens so we end up with a pelted pussy cat so I've started on the head. You know, I always try and start at the top because it's the bit they like to be messed about with the most. So I'm just trying to remove some of these mats from around his face and his chin, because obviously I want to leave him with a little bib. So here's the molten combs doing its job for me already, just grabbing hold of these little tats that are under his chin. I've got a couple out there. Um, and there we are on this side. Good boy. Let's have a little feel under there. Something this side, mister, isn't there? Hey, look at them dirty eyes. Oh, pucky pups. Now that's quite a big one. That's just, there you go, that's come out nicely. Good boy. Are you a good boy, Charlie? Boy Charles, hey, let's get some of those nasties away from under there, hey. Oh, he says, this is rather nice. I'll oh. shut my eyes for this little bit. Hey, I will shut my eyes. Okay. Not too bothered about it being clear right down the bottom because he is going to have his clip. But you can see what's just come away there. Just from under the chin. Right, babes. I'm going to start on them clippers in a minute. I'm going to see how he goes with the clippers. Because of course he's not been with me before. So I'm going to just get them switched on. See how he reacts. Boy, let's see, what are these? If I could get them to switch on, that would be a help. Not too bothered by that, are you, Babs? Hey? Well, well, let's make a start then, hey? You know what I do? Okay. Okay. Just some little tats on your head. <laughs> Here we go. And off we pop. Well, the other cats on the street won't recognise you, will they? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. So 
see the grass sticky buds stuck. <laughs> and look out there. <laughs> Woohoo! Good lad. You'll be able to strut your new look, won't you, Charlie? Hey. Okay. Good boy. So we're just on the other side of Charlie now. So he's not been bad, he's having a little wriggle. It is tight. So these, this is a pelt. So I've just got to get right under it with the clippers and get it away from him, which we've done. So it's a rough clip to start with. It's just a case of to get as much of a coat off as I can. And then I go over and do a tidy up to just give him a nice smooth finish. So you can see he's a little bit patchy and rough at the moment, but that will all be nice and smooth. And he'll look, I haven't seen that when he's finished. What's this hanging in your eyelashes? Eye debris. Yes, it is. Oh, Charlie. Very mucky face, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Right, so let's have a little look back here. Let's see if we can get down these back legs a bit. Can you come here for me? Good boy. I don't want you to disappearing off the table just yet. So again, we've got these big pelts here. So I've just got to lift the skin. Good boy, Charlie. And get underneath them. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Now I can't do much more there because you can see here this pink skin here under there and how it's sort of puckered up if you like. So if I was to try and clip that now I'd catch this piece of skin. So what, what I need to do is now to get him onto his side and stretch him out a bit so the skin's flatter so then I don't have any issues with catching him with the clippers. So we're going to try a little turny over Charlie because the bulk of the coat's now off on the top and I just want to see what he's like when we do an attempt on the first roly-poly onto your side. Now I always have to keep an eye out on Persians because of that squash nose and the breathing difficulties he have. He's no exception. He's already got that nasally breathing in and out I can hear so I don't want him to be on his side for long. So we're going to do a little bit at a time and see how we go. And then if we have problems, second option is for Steve to hold him up on his back legs and I come to the front and try and clip him while he's stood up on his hind legs. So we'll, we'll attempt a roly first, hey Charles? Are you ready? Let's get you into a position. Good boy. And can we go over? Good boy. Whoa, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. No strugglies. It's okay, it's okay. You stay there for me. Shh, 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 shh. Good boy. Good boy. Shh. Good boy. There you go. It's okay. No need to panic. Now, can I just come down here? Can I come down this tummy? Boy. What a good boy. Joy. 
Ooh. Oh, what a good boy. Good lad. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes, he is. So you can see I'm trying to sort of stretch the skin and then get under with the clippers. Very difficult when you're trying to hold the cat into position and trying to lift the skin. It's a knack, isn't it, mister? Yeah, it is. What a good boy. Well, first attempt. Excellent. Hey, excellent, Charlie. So we have got a wagging tail now. <laughs> Trying to get these are very tight on his chest and they're all connected to the front legs. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, let you up for a minute. Good lad. So basically, clips scruffily done if you like. Um, I just want to get these front legs started because he is matted at the back of them. You can see all here. Um, so that will be the next little job to see if we can get down the hand of the back of these leggies, won't it, mister? See what we can do here. Now, sometimes they will sit for me. I don't know if he's going to. You're off the table, boo. Good boy. And sometimes they'll sit and let me have a leg. But I don't think that's going to be the case. I think he's just going to collapse on me. Hey, how are you? Are you going to sit and give me a leg, eh? Otherwise it's a case of rolling over to get to the legs again. Oh, this isn't bad. Good boy. Good boy. I prefer to do it this way with Persian, just because of the breathing. Yeah, it's a good boy. It's a good lad. Good boy. <laughs> on we come. Back on we come. Do you think we can have this one? Well, this is the one that I really want to get under here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good boy. That's the mat, big mat gone in the back of there. Still got more here. The thing is, a lot of cats are very sort of ticklish with their legs. They don't like you touching them. We always say to owners, when you're grooming your cat, literally, Get them used to being handled everywhere. Down the legs, the tummy, down the back legs, under the armpits. Just get them fully used to being touched and messed with and, you know, because it makes it so much easier when you come to groom them. So this is too long to be left on to, off. Yeah, I need to clip this away. And it would help if you would sit, really. It would. I 
So I've done his clip and he was all right, weren't you, babe? A little bit wriggly on the um, front legs, actually, with this fella. Not keen on under the armpits getting done. I just want to clean these eyes up before we ring his dad and tell him he can come and get him. Quite enjoying that baby, aren't you? So we've got a warm cotton wool, makeup iPad, whatever you want to call it, with just some warm water. We're not pressing. I'm just using the end of the finger, I've not got my nail on it, it's just the pad of my finger. And we just keep letting it soak a little bit and then we do a little wipe away. Good boy. And of course, one pad, one eye. Don't cross contaminate. And then we do another one. We get the second one. Don't we miss that? And we do it again on the other side. Good boy. Let's have a look at this one. Hey, well, this is a mucky one, mister. Isn't it? Hey, what's going on here? Oh, dear me. You look a completely different boy when we're finished, don't you? Hey, to the scruffy lad that arrived in the basket just over an hour ago. Hey. Okay, good boy. I'm going to have to get another pad for this eye. Ain't I? Right, so leave the water to just soften that a little bit. Get myself another pad. Good boy. Hey, Charlie. Let's have another little look then. Good boy. Oh, he's You good lad? <laughs> you are. Let's go in there again. Oh. There we go. Okay, baby. Now anything, oh that's come away, that's wet anyway. I was going to say anything really stubborn, don't go hell for leather trying to get it away because you don't want to infect their eyes. Just do little and often. It's better than trying to do it all in one hog if, um, if you're struggling. We don't want to get sore eyes, do we? That's better. Good boy. What a little star. So this scruffy little fella <laughs> has now had his line clip. There's a couple of little bits I just want to zoom over with the clippers, but I'll do that when we finish filming. Apart from that, that's basically his line clip is done and completed. And uh, as I said, it was just the front legs he was having a bit of an objection to, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah, difficult. Not keen on the front legs. No, wasn't nippy. keen to roll over to let me come behind these front legs. And then when I tried to stand him to come under them, he, it was as though he was really ticklish and he just kept pulling away. But then he started to lash out with the other leg. 
um, to keep me away, didn't you? Trouble. So let's have a little sitty up. Can you wiggle sit up? Hey, hey, you have a wiggle sit up. It's a good boy. There you go. There you are. Good boy. So I'm quite happy with that because he was rather pelted. Okay, baby. See, <laughs> I'm just going down that leg and he's not happy. Hey, I know you're not happy with that leg. I wanted to just get that bit of fur that's sticking out there. Just that bit under there. I wanted to see what that was doing. I did. Can I get you? There. Good boy. There, finished. Not so bad after all, was it, Charlie? Hey. Eh? <laughs>